discussions began naturally on the subject of international terrorism in the context of the recent terrorist attacks in Brussels. Prime Minister offered condolences on this barbaric act and said that India stands with the EU in the fight against international terrorism. He said that India wanted to scale up its cooperation with the European Union in the area of counter-terrorism, acknowledging that both India and the EU were two large, vibrant democracies and extremely diverse societies. Prime Minister said that our partnership with the EU had deepened since 2004. On the part of the EU, Mr. Donald Tusk said that India is one of our most important partners and the India-EU agenda for 2020 would define the partnership for the next few years. The leaders also discussed the situation in Afghanistan, the three transitions that are currently underway in Afghanistan, and in this context, Prime Minister Modi spoke of India's commitment to staying the course in Afghanistan and our very strong developmental partnership with Afghanistan. There was also a discussion on global and regional issues, in particular, the challenge of climate change. The European side explained the situation arising from the migration crisis. And there was broad agreement that cooperation between the Indian Parliament and the European Parliament should be scaled up. In fact, in a rare feat, Mr. Werner Hoyer, the President of the European Investment Bank, and Mr. Martin Schulz, the President of the European Parliament, joined the Presidents of the European Council and Commission at the working dinner that was held in honour of Prime Minister Modi. Uh, Prime Minister also discussed the possibility of the European Investment Bank investing in India's infrastructure and other sectors. They also discussed cooperation in renewable energy. Prime Minister explained the very ambitious targets that had been set in India for affordable housing for all, for clean energy for all, and said that cooperation with the European Union could help India achieve these goals faster. A very important agreement was signed today between the European Investment Bank and India for the Lucknow Metro. This is a 450 million euro project and today's agreement was for 200 million euros. So, all in all, the first, the third, I mean, the first India-EU summit under this government uh, and the 13th overall uh, has been very, very positive. Uh, we believe this will impart fresh momentum and energy to the India-EU partnership and the prospects of deepening the strategic partnership between India and the European Union look very, very promising.